And here we go with the cast of Detroit Evolution. Hey, Hi. Hi, everyone. Hello. We are live. Hello. Um, happy Saturday, everybody. <laughs> As you can tell, we are doing something very special today in terms of switching each other's roles. I am sympathetic to JJ for how goddamn hot this scarf is. <laughs> Thank you so much, Michelle. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> We've My also, legacy. We've also got Michael Smallwood rocking Robo Jesus up in here. <laughs> uh, Everyone, join me at Jericho. <laughs> See you there. I've been practicing that Marcus voice. Um, we've also got the lovely Austin as Ada. This is Jillian Gertz. Cannot join us today. She had other responsibilities. So you are you're filling in for our Australian queen. Yes, I might lose the wig when it gets going because I'm going to get hot. <laughs> yes, wigs and scarves very hot. Uh, JJ himself is cosplaying as the uh, Elijah Kamsky, uh, the, the other Robo Jesus from a certain point of view, I suppose. Thank you. Come on, man bun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jeez, God. Yeah. It's tiny. Like half of this hair is being held in by like got to be glued right now. Like it's <laughs> absolutely tiny. But I you love know. it. It counts. I it love counts. It. Thank, you. Thank you so very much. <laughs> my my. I'm gonna. Will, will it be risky if I switch my Wi-Fi to something more reliable right now? Yeah. Okay. We're we'll we'll see how it holds up. <laughs> Zoom is Zoom literally is, cut the Zoom stream. is a little stuttery, so we'll 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 make sure that this this hangs in there. Uh, we've also got Maximilian Koger cosplaying as nine. As nine. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing new here. Nothing, nothing, nothing's changed. Wearing the clothes from DE's nines. <laughs> and here as themselves, presumably. Uh, I'm cosplaying right now, okay? The, I'm cosplaying as Gavin right now, okay? This is... This is this is just rolled out of bed on a Saturday morning. It's just rolled out of bed on a Saturday morning. You know, Nines was like, hey, maybe don't shave. And I was like, fuck you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cosplay, uh, cosplay yeah. complete. And uh, the lovely Carla Kim as well. I love your glasses, Carla. They're so stylish. Me too. I'm incredibly blind without them. And, and I've run out of my contacts. So this is my only way of seeing anything at this point. <laughs> Is it someone said Tina, uh, Carla is cosplaying as Chill Tina? I love it. <laughs> yes, I'm Chill Tina. Too, and one of them keeps getting out Moving. of focus. <laughs> it's your deviant eye. <laughs> I am not wearing my contacts or my glasses. I'm sitting close enough to the screen where that doesn't matter today. <laughs> oh, how it's nice. Like, so if I don't read it's you, like, Michael, it's how nice right that here, for you to right have right vision right. like that. <laughs> I say my eyes are nowhere near like the cool ice blue like Elijah Kamsky. I'm poop brown today, as you can see. I'm too scared to put contacts in. We so, love poop brown. Poop brown. Yes, I know. I know. I need to go back to Zoom. Here we go. Um, so apparently my display capture is fickle. Um, okay, so uh, as you, if you guys don't know, uh, what we are gathered here today to do is to watch Detroit Evolution together in our various. Um, levels of cosplay and um, basically if you've ever seen Mystery Science Theater 3000 or Rift Tracks or something to that effect we'll be commentating over the film uh, in a light-hearted non-informative manner um, not... <laughs> maybe naturally a little, maybe a little bit informative you might learn something on this stream either about the film or about one of us and uh, as, as the mods will tell you this I'm is not to, here to be mean-spirited but feel free to add your own commentary into the chat because you all are a hilarious lot as well and i will surely be pulling from the chat and holy shit 444 people are here watching us jesus uh, <laughs> Robo yeah. jesus. That's, Robo like, jesus. <laughs> that's like double what i thought we were going to get today okay oh, cool hi RA9. everybody oh my ra9 all right we well, are alive <laughs> we RA9. are <laughs> alive <laughs> we ask for freedom so, um, oh, freedom, that's so funny. Oh, you're really committing to the Kamsky bit, huh? Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm kidding. Hey, guys, you guys, Talia is cosplaying as asshole from Detroit Awakening. Oh, oh, oh baby. <laughs> baby. Solid move. So cute. <laughs> Solid move, Talia. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we're about to get her. started. Um, and guys, uh, the, the, the cast has let me know that the audio levels are okay for them and everything. Um, but do let me know if everything is okay for you guys. We do have our voices over the 
movie, but we have subtitles enabled. So uh, the movie is going to be a little quieter than it would normally be, just so you can keep a balance there of us. But um, I do want to make sure that it's not like silent. So uh, definitely let me know in the chat if I need to adjust anything, and we will do that right off the bat. So guys, you ready? Let's go ahead with some Let's do screen it. share. Oh dear. Okay, share this. Oh, no. oh, <laughs> everybody everybody show everybody, everybody share. how this works. All right, oh. we're sharing the computer audio, so this should work, and that is everybody. All right, let's go. We don't take a, a second. So we got this um, this long disclaimer that says, "Don't sue us." Lots of profanity. Lots and lots of profanity. Peril, smoking, characters expressing bigoted viewpoints towards androids, discussion of murder. Tag yourself. I'm Peril. To... How oh, dare yourself. you discuss I'm... murder and not follow through? Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> depending on who you look at it. <laughs> I, ma I made him add yeah. that synth noise. <laughs> That always gives me chills every time I watch this. So we got Luther in here somehow, Maximilian. I know you've been uh, begging. That's my husband, that's my husband. That's my husband. <laughs> uh, oh, yes, the bridge. The bridge scenic. that we were not allowed to shoot on, so we only have B-roll. We join oh. you now in scenic Nines' brain. Robots can't smell. What's he doing? Oh my god, that person who commented that. So unrealistic. <laughs> I bet he put his hands in his pockets. Good morning. Robots do smell. They smell terrible. No, I'm kidding. Ha. Ha. I, pro I smelled so bad after this day. I was like covered in dirt and grime and shame. I'm still preparing yeah. for the investigation. I'm going to make us both bio crowns before we leave. Okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It's lagging a teeny bit for me. Is it doing that for anybody else? Same. Yeah. It's okay, though. I think it's Probably workable. Yeah, that's I mean, we still look good. I'm just saying. Yeah. Robots don't need to breathe. breathe. Why can he smell? So uptight. <laughs> Even your brain. Isn't this supposed to be your ideal world? Loosen up a little. My ideal your ideal world is mossy. My ideal world would not have people walking into our shots every five oh, minutes, but you know. My God, <laughs> and peacocks. What the fuck? Yeah. I did Oh my God. Oh, Jillian oh, Park. We have done more peacocks, personally. Hey. Yes, just like this back. jump Ching cut to in. reality. <laughs> that back to reality. Oh, there goes Gavin. <laughs> you looked far more corpse-like before I VFX a layer of makeup over your face. I'm just saying. <laughs> I had to pull back on it in post. Well, come to the VFX stream. I'll show you how I did it. Oh my God. <laughs> The extras like, had is it gonna be like Android fondue? Is there like gonna be like a melting pot of sorts? <laughs> Never say that again. <laughs> Here goes that deleted scene. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Right, here, here, just just to make you guys feel better. There it is. Uh, uh, <laughs> you guys walk into fucking slow. <laughs> hey, this is the only time I use Nine's theme in the entire movie. Oh yeah. No shit. So I think nobody can see me, but me and Austin are sitting up there. Um, Where'd up you get the stairs. jacket? Yeah. We're like hanging over people with microphones, like trying not to be seen. Just like, oh god. Where do you think you're going? Plastic. DPD, back off. I just want to spend the rest of the day in a cell Oh, Jay, I love him. Business. What are you? He's a radio host. I've been told to bump the audio. Android okay. bootlicker. Like <laughs> Even the cops are in on this now. <laughs> okay, wait, pause. Can we pause? <laughs> yeah, pause. What's up? Yeah, uh, just because, like, you can't... I The pr camera never quite shows it, but Jay, the actor who I, like, punch and, like, beat up, He's like seven feet tall, <laughs> and I'm like I'm like four so, foot nine. Yeah, four foot nine. It is, like, in real life, it is hilarious how much bigger this guy is than me. I took pictures. It's shocking. 
<laughs> he's so nice. It's so funny because he's such a nice dude. Like he was like really quiet. Oh he's kind of like sat back the entire time, and then he comes over just like, Hur! and I, mm. even I was just like. Oh. And then when you, reminds me of voice, that, that, oh. when you hear his voice, and it's like, do you have five testicles? Like, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> what I wish I looked like when I went on TV yes. versus what I actually am. He but seems fact, like Oscar Isaac is the same height as Elijah Wood, so he's five foot six. He's I, hobbit sized. I cannot believe that. Oh, oh, literally hobbit sized. You guys can be action heroes. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Ready to continue? Right. Yes. Let's, yeah. let's, it looks like you're looking at his butt though a little bit. Oh, I am. oh, let's let's, let's, <laughs> let's let's make sure to look at Michael Smallwood's face as this pans up. This is the face of a man who knows he's gonna have to do a lot of paperwork. Control all the lead. You gotta love it. Hey, I would take Detective Reed's advice. Go back. Snap, crackle, pop. That's who we are. Snap, crackle, pop. <laughs> Beard. My completely beard. ineffectual push after that. Y'all have a nice yeah, yeah. Get out of the way. Because I remember hearing Whaley laugh every time that happened. I know. <laughs> Unnecessary <laughs> little push of like, yeah, yeah. You're lucky I didn't do that. No one is going to give me shit of a put Salt and pepper. You like that, uh, that post-production VFX added television screen? Well, that looks so back. good. Okay, Thank whatever you for happens, visiting. it was worth it. Besides, you're the one who it. That could be just a Meanwhile, Chris defense. Miller's just dis Digging disassociating as they have this conversation. <laughs> as I love Flirts it. that top volume. He's just like, oh. I have a child, and then like, I have also have to like parent two other adult babies. <laughs> Not my he is the ultimate dad character. Good morning, thank you for coming. Khaleesi. Hey, Khaleesi. I'm just gonna start calling Ada Khaleesi. You the joker we spoke to on the phone? <laughs> only, yes, only my Jillian name is Ada. Welcome to New Jericho. Guess the word got out about a dead android, huh? People protest nice. outside of Jericho Tactful. every day. It's unreal. <laughs> <laughs> it's fascinating to see an android working as a detective. What's your model number? RK9. Why is she so pretty? It's not fair. Like Marcus? It's fascinating to see an android wearing a cape. Incredible. Somewhere off screen, Connor's like, what about I me? I think that every time. I'm like, wait, she's uh, heard of Connor. Right? Nah, fuck of Connor. <laughs> yeah, fuck Connor, no. All but. right, we need to charge our robot on our key charger there. Uh, all right, hey, yeah. it's Ninja Noodles. This is everything we have. What about Ninja? Uh, Ninja Noodles? Just, uh... here, which is why we got in touch with you. I recognize her name and model number from our manifest. Poor Ninja, what are you going to do? Her. She was the only Asian. She watched me do that on a call. I did the whole what visual happened? effects while, while she was watching found me her do body it. disposed of at a shipyard. Her chest cavity was ripped open, and she was missing her ethereum. When the ship kills you every day. Mm -hmm. oh, most murders are committed by someone Find yourself in a shipyard. Do. Wait, is, is a shipyard where so ships go to die? Like, Jericho yeah. could all be suspects. Yeah. It would be helpful if we could interview. Yeah, literally literally yeah, everything in this movie that happens that's bad happens in a shipping district no. or docks as because it's the only thing that could just come to mind mind when I was like, I was just like where's the crime scene the shipping district need I need I point out the fact that shipping <laughs> in general is a deadly thing I love it uh, if you think of anything else that might be helpful give us a call sorry. If you, oh, uh, yeah, my roommate's yeah, cat is being a for bitch. My, for my bags under my eyes. Make you watch the movie. <laughs> I love that we can do this. Oh, the walk and talk. I love it so much. Aaron Sorkin came in. He was great to work with this day. You know, it was... Oh, wow. Really, Aaron Sorkin? <laughs> it's a, it, just because it's a walk and talk. Oh, yeah. I got to do the audio you know while sitting on a couch for this. Hey, hey. Daily. Michael Daly. Michael James Daly. Daly. Such a nice dude. Our drive just like sitting. Yeah. He murdered a dozen of our brothers and sisters at Capitol Park. Ada's just twiddling her thumbs, just like, <laughs> um, <laughs> pretend to be busy. Chris I want to point man. out that Michael Smallwood and Michael James Daly are long. actually huge rivals in real life. Uh, no, absolutely yeah, spies each other. <laughs> Back then, they, they told us that you all were just machines. I uh, say, the tale of three Michaels, Daly, Whaley, and Smallwood. Ah, I know. Like the new Three Stooges. 
Meanwhile, Gavin's just like, did I leave the coffee maker on? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to live with that choice every day. So Gavin Nine's just hanging back, yeah, like, watching this it. monologue. Like, what's yeah. happening? Like, yes, I killed some androids, but in my defense, they were unnamed NPCs. <laughs> unnamed NPCs. Me and Skyrim all the time. I mean... You're, you're not important to the story, it's okay. Like, you couldn't even romance them. Do they count? Do they count? <laughs> <laughs> the game is it's hey. game. <laughs> hey, Michael, I know that that was really sad, but I really like your sweater. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Oh yeah. Like, hey man, this is sad. You look great. Bye. Yeah. Where'd you get that? Where'd you get that sweater? Just like real quick. Just before, like, before we go. Before we go. Yeah. Just like, before we go. Hey. So again, I'm sorry I murdered your friend. But before. I'm, but where do you shop? But where do you shop? Where? <laughs> get that. Shop at the H and M. <laughs> With great trauma comes great fashion sense. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder I yeah dress terribly. Detroit, the fashion capital of the world. Don't you love this montage of stock footage? It's great. It's it looks really it looks good so montage good. Montage of stock footage, though. That's no totally Christian Day's hand right there on the like we already talking about. A, I could buy it. Or a swimsuit. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sexy lady robot. That's Jillian Gertz. Sexy lady robot. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Brett Mullen. He was fun. Oh, I don't know about that person. Awesome butt. Butt. Ah, uh, look, live footage of my body before I stopped working out during quarantine. <laughs> God, no, that's a. F oh, that's it's a Pillow Cat. Thing. Hello. It's Nick Nick Paddywhack. It's Eccentric Giraffe. Shout out the <laughs> chat. Congratulations on becoming an executive producer. It's Ozzy Tate. Yeah. There's a bunch of other people. And, uh. Yeah. yeah. And, and Mary Lynn Robles, who played Dr. I love her. Saba. Saba and Saba. Saba. Saba's my French dad. And that bitch. What <laughs> <laughs> that bitch. She's a bitch and a boss. And I shot in that boss. glass. I'm a bitch. Like, I'm a boss. <laughs> Sorry. And it's like written and directed, like written, directed, edited, fundraised, produced, from that, like all. <laughs> I, don't I don't want to be Hideo Kojima, Chris. Terminator to make us <laughs> oh, this, is actually, <laughs> this is actually footage from a game show, and the game is that you juggle one piece of ridiculously hot toast between your two hands and try to make it through one take. And try to make it through. One Carla I think we have footage. Oh, we I think we have footage of Carla just going, oh. <laughs> just like after touching the hot like, why did you <laughs> Carla why did you turn the toaster on well no 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 so we were toasting we were toasting the toast so it would be continuity toast so it wouldn't just be bread we had a piece of bread that we put in the toaster that was just bread I'm gonna pause during this I'm gonna explain this we had a piece of bread that we were bread breakdown bread that we put in the toaster because it was bread and then we had a piece that we needed that was toasted that was toast that she could take out of the toaster for continuity that was already toasted but we didn't want to have the toaster on because it made noise so we had to put a piece of toast already in the toaster but in order to do that we had to toast the toast to begin with so we were toasting this toast while also doing the scene and carla reached into that hot toaster and took out the toast mid scene keep saying toast and this <laughs> this face right here on carla is mistakes were made and i'm about to die of third degree burns <laughs> yeah. I'm about to die of the so fucking hot the show must <laughs> go on the <laughs> fucking hot Oh, well, glory. She, she, re she really committed to it, though. She was still saying those lines, and she was like, but you did Oh, my God. <laughs> True pro. Yeah. <laughs> I have it all. It will end up in a gag reel at so some point. Just so you say, <laughs> that is the story of Detroit Bread Become Toast. Okay. Detroit, Detroit Bread, bread Become bread Toast. Become toast. Welcome friends. back to Hot Toast. I'll ensure he maintains a hostile enough disposition to still enjoy Gotta get that bread, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Oh, you gotta get that bread. <laughs> I'm sorry, but Maximilian's just a little Thank you, Danny, love right there over her shoulder, just like. <laughs> Gavin just sleeping on the job. Oh, yeah. Got those Doc Martens up on his desk. God, you love me. Move your feet. The appropriate like, I know you would prefer me to have my button undone. Have you been so reviewing the case? Uh, you know me. When do I stop? The victim's an AC 900, right? 
Look at that wobble. That yeah, wobble. <laughs> wobble, baby, wobble, well, baby, wobble, baby. I had wobble, emotion baby, wobble. tracked that fucking you think they wobble. Can black market money. Thank you. <laughs> That's oh, crazy. That. That. Very well done. Holy so, shit. Once I made that genius deduction, I went through a list of my contacts in the Android parts market, and they got back to me with some common drop sites for black market deals. Contacts. What are you doing? There this is black how you uh, uh, run a business. The DPD. Oh. <laughs> Everybody's been asking me about what's in the background, and it's like bullshit they had written on the walls okay, that we nice. thought was too important to erase. Sometimes you it's gotta blockchain. bend the rules if you wanna catch a bigger fucking fish, all right? It's what? You know, it's blockchain. not in your protocol or whatever, but that's why you got me. Kamsky. It's how you run computers. Oh, yeah, of course. No. Yeah, you got a real funny way of well, saying it. No, listen, it's funny because, like, IRL, I'm stupid when it comes to computers. Like, I literally, like, Hank, I can barely change the settings on my own phone, so this is the most ironic. And I believe you found the one that. A privileged cis, probably head white man, billionaire, <laughs> god of computers. Nah. I love um when he says a good start. bigger fucking but fish. For a he immediately lifts the shark market. Thought of that too, smartass. There are definitely some sites where black market activity is hot. Is this the scene where he These apartments are in Ferndale and yes. Slide Docks here. Continuity is a bitch. Yeah. We'll need to split up to cover both. Ah, you won't have to miss me. It was yeah, cold Chris, I'm we go to the other. It was cold in this place, yes. It was very, yeah, it was chilly in that place. Since yeah. And we had to turn it off all the time, right? Because we had to turn it off in whatever room we were shooting it. It was loud. Mm. Bearing troubles in your work is your usual approach. I like how, how Tina's doing work, but Chris Miller is just like... Eh. Brooding. <laughs> I'm gonna play with this uh, sonic screwdriver. I got yelled at by a dude who's... Friends I killed, okay? Hard morning. <laughs> Hard morning. That's a really cool car. <laughs> that so, car was so cool, yeah. especially with the quasars in the back. Not pictured. There I am. <laughs> JJ Not pictured me. <laughs> delivering lines to us. You know what? I w I'm going to pause so you can elaborate on that because, yes, JJ was. So, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, pretty much everybody who doesn't know, um, because Michael Smallwood had a voiceover part, um, they needed cues for when to come in. So I was sitting in the back, just reading the lines, like l trying to lay down and like fold my long ass <laughs> fucking legs, like trying not to be seen. And like, oh God, it just took everything. There's a gif of me somewhere, like in Michelle's files of me just going like this in the background after the shot's over, <laughs> kind of like a ghost. But yeah, I was laying in the back during this entire scene. Um, and yeah, no, it was, I, Exhilarating. I, well, it was hot in that car. And, and he, when he was doing the music, because Michael, we only captured your voiceover like a week before I finished the movie. So even yeah. in the version that he was used doing the music to, had JJ's, uh, if I can find a booth for you. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> in the background. No. And I, I feel like I should put that footage online at some point. I'm just I like was the, so afraid that was going to end up in the final. <laughs> Peter Wow, well, I'm cosplaying as Chris video. Miller, aka Michael Small. I, like, I, I was like, I, Michelle sent me the movie and I listened to it, and I actually had the thought the first time of like, I don't remember recording these lines. Did we just? Is this just distorted? <laughs> and it's just how I sound distorted. You de-aged like, like to like sixth grade. That's your. That's so funny. <laughs> that's what I, I sound like. I did show Michael the rough cut, and he was like, "Oh yeah, I thought you just like changed my voice." <laughs> that's exactly what I thought at first. I was like, "Wait, she just what did she do to my voice? It sounds weird, but maybe that's how radio sound in the, the Detroit." Future. I do have a question, Chris and Maximilian. Um, did you at times forget that I was back there, or was it just kind of like, "Oh God, JJ's back here"? <laughs> oh, and fully aware. <laughs> like, okay. Fully aware. That's nice. I mean, forgot I was in the trunk. Oh man! Oh my God! We are never gonna live this down. No, we're not. never no leave your gonna, children in the car. God damn it! No one's gonna live down the day we left Austin. We in left the car. Austin in the car, and then didn't we look for him too? We were like, "Where's Austin?" No one could find him. And he I knew. I was like, "He's right behind us. He's in the back seat of this car, y'all." <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God. God. This was so fun, though. I also, loved being the chunk. I was like, <sighs> also Gavin's yeah. face being like, "Are my cats bored? Should I get a fifth one?" Oh, believe me, See, all dogs. would be far preferable than being trapped in a car with Gavin's questionable music. This wait, 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 pause, pause, pause. Docks are the most dangerous pause. place in the world. Okay, so I actually been wanting to ask Chris this for a while. The questionable music taste, what are we listening to? Oh my god, like what does Gavin have playing? <laughs> yeah, like what are you playing? Because I, I feel like we both have two completely different answers for that. Uh, carry on my wayward son on repeat. <laughs> oh my yeah, god. But that See, song's that's exactly, a bop. 
<laughs> See, but uh, yes, but <laughs> no one. But at that I mean, point, I, that song would be over fifty years old. Exactly. Gavin's a supernatural <laughs> fan. He dresses like Jensen Ackles. Yeah. <laughs> he does dress like Jensen Ackles. That's a very good point. Yeah, or anyway. it's like, or it's like, it's like, oh, I'm listening to something. Uh, it's it's a little bit dated. It's from thirty years ago. It's early two thousands. Uh, Skrillex. <laughs> Love it. You're a cinema. Yes. Mm. Heavy dub dubstep while we're trying to be low key at a crime scene. <laughs> the, the, the chat Wait. is suggesting he's playing bitch lasagna. Oh my god! No. Also valid. Yeah. I like. Or baby shark. Listening to improvise. Or baby shark. Rhythm. Baby shark the whole time. <laughs> baby shark. <laughs> I have my promotion party. Don't worry, I put it in our calendar. We'll be there. Our calendar? What? Spend most yes, of our time bitch. together. It's only yeah. <laughs> we have fan cal in our phones. The calendar. The Google Calendar. Sure to find a booth for you. I love how you both just look away from each other at that. Oh, shit. <laughs> you know, with some android chick, all of you doing an investigation. Are you referring to Ada? Of course, I'm referring to Ada. <laughs> you are true. SpongeBob voice. She's that was in the trailer. Well, number one, of course I'm talking about Ada. Have you seen her on camera? No. <laughs> She's literally the only woman Android. She's literally the only woman in the movie. Do something. Well, suppose I would start with getting to know someone. You know someone. Connecting with them. Mental what mental if they mental hadn't mental hung up and Chris is just listening to all of this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I totally think that you hear it. Oh, and yet he's still it, just like... Which makes Chris not getting it even more silly. He's like, <laughs> he just doesn't get... He's like, oh, I mean... Yeah, I mean, that's how friends would talk to each other. It, really it takes us literally kissing so for 20 seconds for you to be like, oh. Uh, uh, <gasps> a second, I think they're gay. <laughs> Maybe. Fucking <laughs> And like, I'm just close friends. Kissing, you're like still asking. You're like, are they gay? <laughs> yeah. Wait, 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 guys. Oh. Are you got the thing? Or what's pause it, pause it for a second. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, shit. Oh, oh. who that? Who oh, that? I was just going to say, I was just going to say, going back to the car thing, Um, for everybody in the chat, two bros chilling in a police car five feet apart. Well, more like three feet apart because they're not gay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> They're really gay, but oh yeah, shit, who's this noob? I have no idea. How are you who both this... in the trunk and you? there? <laughs> the magic of cinema. Yeah. The magic of, the magic cinema. of cinema. Okay, real talk. JJ's walkthrough and this stakeout were performed in completely different nights and completely different locations. Indeed. Yeah. I do have a funny story about the location that we shot at for my scene, though. Oh? Yeah. Do you want me to pause? Oh, sure, if you want to. Um, although, if you want to get, show, um, get to the alleyway. Okay. Suppose. Well, actually, just a little fun fact is this scene was filmed uh, where we shot Troy Awakening. It is. It's in the parking lot. It's in the parking lot. Yeah. That's right. It's right. So, yeah. It's been just stroll down memory lane. Yeah. The lighting's natural, and so were the lens flares. Yeah, absolutely. It drops the arm. Because Brett <laughs> is a genius. How disarming. Oh. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Thank wow. you, folks. I'm here all week. Wow. Nursing is just uh, wow. supporting the comedy career. I can't Good believe that. that this was a Vine Good evening. or TikTok. Oh, I. BPD. I really. Hold on, pause. What? I, I really. So apparently, there is a Vine or a TikTok of this guy in a white jacket coming up to the camera in, a, in, in the middle of the night in an alley going, Good evening. Good evening. Yes. And everybody <laughs> pointed it out. It wasn't purposeful. I had no idea this was something. He's on a like thing. Heelys or something. He's on like yes. Heelys. Yeah, it was. It's hysterical. Oh, I've seen it. Mine. Yes, I've seen it, mine. I know, and I know the Viner who did it. Well, I don't know yeah. him, but I know of the Viner because like I yeah, used to yeah, watch Vine comps all the time. <laughs> okay, this whole movie is like moot now because I didn't have Heelys the whole time, and I think all androids should have <laughs> had Heelys. <laughs> 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 no Heelys. But yeah, no. Let's funnily go enough, for, for everybody in the chat, um, so everybody, um. This scene is actually shot behind a strip club studio. Well, pole dance studio. <laughs> Not a strip club, club studio. studio. Strip club studio. Okay, pole dance studio. I don't a little think bit of a difference. Strip club studios. P potato, potato. It's eh. anyway. Yeah. No, but um, funnily enough, yes. But also, um, working, yes. This I grew up on the strip, like literally by the strip of road. Um, <laughs> pardon me, <laughs> strip. But um, <laughs> but like for about like. T almost 20 years of my life and I actually worked there was an old bridal shop next year that I used to work at when I was 17 and I took pole dancing lessons at the studio on my 20th birthday 
Oh, that's fun. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I'm surprised Sarah didn't recognize me. Um, but they were like super nice in there. But I was just like, there's just like a lot of history that like I can point out, like because this was all shot like in the place that I grew up for like 20 out of the 22 years, 21 out of 22 years of my life. Um, we only adopted the alley. You were molded by yeah. it. <laughs> yes, I was. <laughs> I am a child. <laughs> This is very much the Kronk. I don't know how they got here before us, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. By all accounts, it makes oh, no just, sense. Uh, just broke up with my girlfriend, you know. Covers the arm. A uh, bunch of boring ass shit. Care if we, uh... And drink. Take a look inside? It's Bobby. It's, Coke. it's fine. Yes, this is the theme yeah. song from Live Scream yeah, in the background sure. that he shamelessly right stole. Wanted for th wanted for theft of a lifetime supply of Cheez-Its. <laughs> but that's something I would do, though. You didn't mean to tell me. I'm still not over this. You didn't mean to tell me that this is your first acting thing. I know, such I garbage. That that you know the purchase. You little I'm bitch. So, I don't I'm believe so it. Sad. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm calling bullshit. Cause yeah, like, you know, you pause, pause, pause. <laughs> well, I'm still with my girlfriend. I took um, improv comedy for like two weeks in high school but that, that was about it and michelle literally she was just like to play lots of i was like how do you want to portray lots of and she was like well you're like a skeevy greasy kid just you know who's anxious just be yourself and i'm like i got this <laughs> literally, she's just, like, just be yourself you said skeevy and then be yourself you said no no ske <laughs> skeevy greasy but anxious yeah. kid and i was like i can be skeevy and greasy with makeup but anxious perfect anxious. i got this Oh. Anxious, anxiety, and I was just like, I know exactly what you're going for. Criminal who's just really fucking bad at it. Well, I Detroit mean, anxiety. And the, and yes! The, <laughs> and the Literally. thing is, is like, I, I, I wrote, I mean, JJ is a very specific way of talking, a very specific dialect, and, yeah. you know, I, I, I know it, and when I, I wrote the character of Lotso for him, so when I wrote Lotso, I was like, how would JJ talk? And so I just I just wrote it for you so that the dialect yeah, would come out of you just exactly as it normally would. Oh, and I'm like so grateful because like, I don't know, I just felt so honored to be just like a little part of it. Like not only just like the, like behind the scenes and stuff, but to have like a little part to call my own. And like all these like people, you know, making lots of fan art. I'm just like, I was supposed to be comedic relief, you know, Tech, I was just an OC and now he's like a cult, an arm cult leader. Literally, <laughs> People have started, have created the arm cult now. I was getting well, weird now. Yeah, it's getting also, weird now. That was something but, weird. But also I this, just, yeah. no, no, continue, sorry. No, you continue, you go ahead. I was just gonna say this look at nines like right here. She's like, Gavin, I, I think I might want to take up pole dancing. <laughs> I think I <laughs> Not the time. <laughs> oh, also Maximilian, like, yeah. I know I was like running, like when I ran into you with the with the crate and I was like, Oh shit. Um need I point out that I did that about twelve times and I ran into you like full force. Are you okay? <laughs> oh, I'm totally fine. You can <laughs> I keep you kept, like sorry. apologizing for it and I was like no, like bring bring it on. Like if anything, it got got me more into the whole like, okay, I should weigh five hundred pounds. Yeah, because <laughs> that was the biggest thing. We're trying to make it a perfect take to where it's like I don't move whatsoever, and mm -hmm. um, you know, JJ is just so committed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Android. You can't afford me. Oh, yeah, sorry. Come on, man. No, you Android. never heard me. <laughs> damn glad. Hey, shut up. I fucking love that bow. Okay, all we want to know is whether or not you bought Ethereum pump from this guy. Wait, Ethereum pumps? Dude, nobody's got Ethereum pumps. I mean, like, those things are like the fucking holy grail. I Wait. Mean, it's, it's like trying to get a human heart. A grail? You know, Sorry. nobody really Oh, uh, that is definitely you know, like, taken from the android bear in Lotso's mansion. Or, Lotso's mansion. Lotso's mansion? Wait, am I the long lost son of Zlatko? What kind of android bear? Oh, God. Well, I'm just... Well, I'm just <laughs> Anyways, a lot of these internal doodads don't make their way around here, mainly because they've been shipped to Japan. I got that, I got that joke. I got Actually, a friend of mine did go dumpster diving behind my house, but the laser drones turned him into Swiss cheese before he could get anything. Your face, crazy. Chris. I just... So, uh, can I go mm. now? You purchased into a contraband, <laughs> so which is a federal crime. We're legally obligated to arrest you. I love that you kind of actually flirt with us a little bit in that moment. You're like, what? Can I go? <laughs> you're like, can I go? Oh, officer, you caught me. <laughs> what do I have to do? Get out of the speeding ticket. <laughs> Don't worry. Oh my god, oops, you caught me dealing with Android parts from the black market. Try not to be so goddamn oops. annoying. Don't worry. If you share your cheese, it's will reduce your sentence. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Off bargain, dude. 
hard cut to hard boiled crime movie. Oh yeah. Tell me where the Cheez-Its are, kid. <laughs> where are you, kid? You'll never take me alive. I'm gonna find those fucking Cheez-Its. <laughs> <laughs> I just realized this is like almost. We're gonna do a whole podcast. Even about even Ada right, right now, music. Amazon shopping for Cheez-Its. <laughs> Robo Cheez-Its. She it's no longer um, the Cornbread Chronicles, it's the Cheez-It Chronicles. Best. They're called Theory Yums. <laughs> Shut up! Theory Yums, oh my god. That was ugly, stop. I know, that was horrible. Kill me now. It's fine. Don the Mefo pig. Ooh, right there. Uh, so good. So now that we've wrapped what would have been the entire act two of this movie into ten seconds, uh, we can move on to the rest. <laughs> If we had had 30 minutes Caps more running time, it would have been right there. <laughs> Caps without sleeves. Caps without sleeves. <laughs> still be out there. If Ethereum pump is a rare item. Oh, that reminds me of my old camp counselor who used to like out. tear his gym like shirt sleeves down to like his hip. This is a weird so version of Tinder. Of Tinder. His girlfriend needing maintenance, which is why he's purchasing the parts illegally. I wonder a if version where you're only scrolling mid because they need it. Criminals only. <laughs> You don't believe Criminals so only. Sick girlfriend. Are, are they all victims too? Like, like I don't. Yeah, I think they're all victims. Government. <laughs> victims only. That's even worse. Necro, necro tinder. That's terrible. Oh god. Oh god. Oh. oh. Necro tinder. At first, I thought you said necro tinder, and I was like, Kevin, no. like, let me show you how to use necro tinder. <laughs> <laughs> this is how you super like. This is how you super like someone's corpse. I'm good laughing. Okay, it. Sweeney Todd, chill. <laughs> Nine's all but going in to smell him, like just <laughs> literally. Android can't smell. Even for it you, you smells, like, smells like those flowers Skinny. that was in my garden. I'm fine. <laughs> I smell cat. <laughs> smell like, I know you're not used smell like the flower. Your it's a pretty pink <laughs> flower. You accept that I do. Smells especially homosexual. Oh, one thousand percent homosexual. While you sleep. That is. If you don't mind me staying over, of course. Well, also, with the way that Kristen did Chris's makeup, it just oh, and just how he kind of like naturally was this whole week. Just the whole without sleep look was just perfect for this. Lighting, so lighting caught your raccoon eyes. On me was great. Some Definitely sleep. not natural at all. So we'll all no. <laughs> the respiratory infection certainly helped. Uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna go. The I'm makeup. gonna go watch Rocky Horror Picture Show. See you in the morning. <laughs> I do, do I? Also, can we agree that Elijah Kamsky Chris would be Frankenfurter? <laughs> Gavin's underpants. <laughs> oh my god, pause. <laughs> the underwear one. By the the largest undies ever. <laughs> that was, that was. I think me and Michelle had talked about that in Austin as well. We, I was actually a slight bit concerned that that was going to read as sexual. As like, a, hey, I'm going to my room and here's my underpants. <laughs> here's my... <laughs> Let me sleep into something a little more comfortable. Oh, comes out I mean, at all. No. Well, this is Act One in the arc that is showing that Nines has knee socks, which Brett and oh I, yeah, you can pause it on the knee socks. Brett, just, Brett, yeah, just pause it on the knee socks. Yeah, yeah, we'll get we'll get to at, part two of that when we see them. <laughs> well, while we're paused, I just every time I think about this, I'm like, if because Nines asks about staying over, and every time I'm like. What does Nines do if he goes home? What Where does Nines, Nines live? Like? Does Nines have a home is the better question. Well, I think we just, I think we've talked about the fact that he lives in an apartment, like provided like, like Android apartments. But I, I'm like, does Nines just go home and shut down? Like, I mean, there's no do? need for like, I mean, I feel it like should just be, it should just be a closet like Bender has in future. Yeah, Futurama. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, he literally could just. <laughs> he shuts <laughs> down, he's in his. Can you? Imagine just like Gavin going to like grab his coat in the morning and just like opening up the door and it's just like me, just like. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, decided to come out of the closet today? How about you let me out of the closet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just the Heelys. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Gavin. I made you eggs and toast. <laughs> He'd be an easy roommate, right? Like, I mean, yeah, the best roommate. Open this closet and he turns off when he's done. There we go. And meanwhile, he's in his fantasy world with the bridge that we're not allowed to film on. 
And yeah, the baby. have a gay robot in his closet. <laughs> Other people have skeletons in the closet. Me, huh? I go above and beyond. I dig it. What are you doing, Nines? Just thinking about boys. <laughs> thinking about boys. Thinking about you lounging on that bench. And all I really want Gavin, I found a way to make Necrotender even larger. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> I'm gonna call the police. You probably would have left a note. You're right. They are the police! Is there a real cool visual effects? Thank you. We They're amazing, of, visual a effects. Of, that's that's mm -hmm. uh, uh, benign director Kai in the uh, corner there. Kai, my, Tracy model. my wonderful Tracy friend in mod. Tracy Parts. We assumed it was a perverse sex crime. Tracy Parts. Ada out Each here stealing pussy. We're missing a part that is unique to the <laughs> model. <laughs> Something that could be valuable if sold or collected. And then they give it back to the family later. I don't think Gavin was gonna say right before he walked into his room. I mean, I don't have time to answer. Don't think that. I think he was. I might want to say. I think Gavin was gonna say, "Hark, we film." Hark, we film. Time for what? This. Oh, around this time, I was like leading. I, I keep on having first. to point like Timing tourists away from the scene. I had a couple of really mean honest. fucking people I just like, no I'm like, yeah, we're allowed to walk here. And I'm like, sure, you're allowed to walk here, Karen. But I was it's always Karen. Miss mm. Pollyann from Bumfuck Nowhere, Boston. Oh, uh, I'm just remembering like the reason why we had to make Chris wear an under tank with that shirt. Because as soon as you just put it on, it was little just like, headlights. No. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, that, that's a little strange that Ben Gavin wears an undershirt, but and he you can know. tell me that if he wants. Until then, I couldn't hide the microphone. That too. Nothing more. Nothing but wire and nips. <laughs> I remember, Chris, at one point you got, like, overheated or something. I do have a video of you with the shirt, like, tied around your neck, like a cape, and you were Naruto running. And I edited it with, like, the Naruto music, just, like, I do down path. I do yeah. <laughs> I'll have to post Gavin. that online later. All right. The just socks. Fucking... Gavin, <laughs> that long. Oh, my God. Remember when I had muscles? Oh, man. Remember when I had muscles? <laughs> 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 So me and Brett had this whole back and forth. I was like, Brett, our cinematographer, you got to make sure that in this shot, you capture the fact that he's wearing these socks. And he was just like, not getting it. He's like, why are the socks important? And I was like, they just are. And it dawned on him. He's like, this is the ass shot of this movie. And I'm like, yes, okay. If that's what it takes for you to get what I'm going for here. I'm like, it's just a fan and then go with it. Yeah, Brett's like, oh, well, I get it now. It's, it's the butts of this movie. Yes, the knee socks. <laughs> he looks like he just walked off Book of Mormon. Just, hello, my name is Elder Price. And I would like to share with you these awesome knee socks. <laughs> Shit, I don't know. It's okay. It's a thought that counts. They are an important part Gavin, of this character. Wake up. Gavin, wake up. Wake up. Gavin. Gavin. Hey, 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 hey you're safe. You're safe. Gavin, wake, wake up. up. You're safe. It's not real. It's not real. <laughs> Barney will not get you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> On a scale of uh, Connor to nines, how gently do you wake up your boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> wake up! <laughs> Sorry. Cue me. Cue me too. trying not to cry my eyes out, knowing this is the last scene we'll ever shoot. Oh, <laughs> I know. I'll go get you some water. <laughs> Michelle, ca Michelle came over to me after like two texts and was like, "So you can't cry." So you can't cry. <laughs> Heartless. I mean, you can cry when it's not your coverage. Mm. Oh my god. Michael, not my coverage. What are you <laughs> Adam's apple. I remember the ride home and being like, okay, now I'm going to cry. Oh yeah, after. He sat next to Maximilian. Oh, <laughs> Uh, uh, just crying the whole time. <laughs> Alright, we sang Hamilton. We sang Hamilton on the way home. That was cute. Oh my god, that's right, because Michael Wait Bailey was like, yo, yep. what a pick up line nine drops there. Research says that physical touch is good. <laughs> is is this how you wink, detective? Uh, 
<laughs> I want everyone try that from now on. Just be like, hey, listen, I don't know. I mean, research. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. We got to cuddle for science. <laughs> that's gonna god that's gonna be a hell of a pickup line after all the quarantining ends like you could be like oh my god i've been in quarantine for months and i'm dying for some human connection the funniest, the funniest part about that is that you're thinking that pickup lines will be required at all after <laughs> it's literally gonna be like, hi, I it's find going you down let's go. Science. Oh my god, <laughs> another human being? <laughs> Hands. Oh, my, oh god. my god, you have a pulse. I can touch you. <laughs> what, Q Voldemort just like, I can touch you now. <laughs> oh my god. Only giving out Voldemort hugs after this, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All hey, hey, hey. huggy yeah. Dracos just JJ. Yes. What'd you do? I can Stop. touch you now. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, that was mm. Meanwhile, Chris Trindade acting his guts out, everybody. <laughs> just, they've seen it, they've seen it. Dude. I was about to be like, what movie is this? <laughs> Sorry, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoyed our two dollar version of Goblin. I love it. Thank it's great. Me. It's perfect. It's what this scene needed. A little <laughs> magic. You sure? You're watching Disney Channel. <laughs> when Guardian let me cuddle with you. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, fine. Hey Tasha. I'm gonna look you in the when face, Guardian though. let me cuddle with you. <laughs> I'm not gonna look at you, but but you better hold my hand. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm scraping like. Yeah, you know what? Let's talk about his acting because, like, I'm seeing droplets of sweat on the neck, and that—that's how you know it's good acting. That's how you know you have a good makeup artist, <laughs> or that the actor is sick. <laughs> that as well. That's what so, elevates a performance is when you're like, "Damn, you like as a sweat. dog." God. The scene was just like all seriousness. Like all jokes and stuff aside, like this seems like one of the most beautifully shot in the movie, in my personal opinion. Oh, yeah, sure. Just the light coming in, I'm just like you. With you would not. Yeah, this looks like it, you could see like on the screen, the big screen, like in movie theaters all across America. This is a. <laughs> I'm not crying. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. Look at me. I'm not crying yet. I'm not no, crying. No, I'm not definitely crying. crying at definitely all. crying. Definitely crying. Are you right sure? Now, crying. <laughs> Are you sure? Oh my God. Don't worry, ah, this I dear. Your mic here. Those VFX, though! I Thank know! You. Austin always looking out for me. So good. I love that shot right there so much. Oh my god. Structures! The next morning, Structures! Uh -oh. like, hey, hey, Gavin, wake up! Hey, Gavin, wake up! <laughs> Gavin has three different phones in this movie. Yeah, I think he does. Sharky. Oh my god. Hold on one second. Let me plug it in my laptop. <laughs> That's not a Galaxy S10, that's a future phone. Future phone! <laughs> Very thin, you can see through it. Ring, ring, ring! Why wouldn't I be? Do I look like fucking Yeah. Gotta love Frankenfurter in the background there. Oh yeah. We could have taken it down, but I thought he would be a fan of Rocky Horror. It just seemed right. I love how this scene was shot before the previous scene. Yeah, that too. Has anyone ever had this actually happen to them? Where, like, you went to sleep with someone, and then you woke up, and they, and they were, were still gone. there? Well, no, <laughs> no, like, you went to sleep with someone, and you woke up, and they were gone, and you were like, oh, man, they just left, and then they come back in with breakfast or coffee or something. Like, is that a thing that happens in real life or just in movies and television? No, that happens in real life. I was like, that like... happened to me in a relationship. Oh, my God. <laughs> Should I pause for these stories? Are these oh, good like, stories? Are these going to be stories? Know. No. When I well, when I lived in Charleston, um, Tasha, my girlfriend, would come to visit me. But um, she would like come like after she got off work at like nine p.m. and it takes like five hours. So she would get here at like you know three or four o'clock in the morning, and like I'd be half convinced that she was a dream. I'd just be like, oh hey, Tasha, I had a dream about you last night. Roll over. Oh wait, she's right there. No, <laughs> what the no, hell is this? No, they're still there. That's still when you woke up. I mean, like, yeah, but cute. no, yeah, but no, I rolled over. Yeah, and like she was gone. Then she comes back in with Starbucks, and I'm just like, am I tripping right now? Just like, okay. I'm just like, I swear. I it, 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 it's, it's cute and not like sad, I've like always, I'm sure others. I've always wondered if that like was like a thing that actually happened to people, particularly like obviously outside of like, you know, relationships and stuff. Right? Oh yeah. Like, where you have like 
kind of like a, a one night with somebody and you're like, oh man, like they got up and just left in the morning. Okay, uh, that's weird. And then they come back in and they throw like, all of their domesticity at your face at once. Yeah. And you're yeah. Just like, Wait, how did you ninja out of this room? I'm a very light sleeper, so I don't understand how people get out of a bed and mm -hmm. not wake you up because everything mm -hmm. wakes me up. But like, so I don't understand it at all. Like, that would never work on me. I'd be like, where are you going? What's happening? I feel <laughs> like waking up to somebody, like waking up to a one night stand cooking you breakfast would be a little intense. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I'm like, like, whoa. People, like <laughs> pass me a vape pen in the morning. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> but like, like, I didn't even know I had bacon. Where'd you get all this? <laughs> I was say, wow, breakfast already. Ooh, isn't it moving a bit fast? I don't know. This scene is the scene where Chris and that stupid shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah, this is like. But after what no one can see is that this red shirt unzips in the front to make a flat panel in the middle. Oh my God, hold up, I got this. Playing with, and it was driving us all nuts. Uh, uh, and then uh, Jillian is also being very, very silly on anything that isn't her direct coverage. So between the two of them, I am dying every day. This is an, this is, this is on my Instagram highlights. Um, <laughs> this is when we first got to see the shirt. And I, uh, yeah, beautiful. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's what he did. Imagine yeah. acting with it. fashion. Imagine then, acting alongside this. <laughs> <laughs> and then this was Lion made this right after that. Yeah. I think I have a couple of pictures of Chris just like posing, just like you mm. do. I was dying. The zippers are dangerously close to the nips. Like they like run like right down the nip line, and you're like, you're holding, like, and it's also weird because there's like fabric, and you're like, this fabric feels nice. What a cotton blend. This is amazing. And then there's cold steel running down your body and your nips, and it's just so much. And then, oh god, <laughs> I am surprised. I saw that didn't fire us. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't fire us. Dude, I was, yeah, I was very surprised that we did not get reprimanded at the end of that day. In the past I was too busy crying in the parking lot. Crying in the prom. Crying in the parking lot. But now I wonder if these victims Or then on the way home. I love how Aiden didn't put the welcome to Jericho sign up this time. She's like, nah, you've been here before. It's also not related to you. It's not like Michelle was too lazy to do the visual effects that would have to be done by glass in the next scene, and I was like, nah. So, <laughs> Lisa was the victim of serial killer. I'll need to do <laughs> it. Well, well, that was awkward. Anyway, yeah. that was. Uh, and Chris is still, uh, well, Miller, Chris Miller is just still like. Highly valuable. Sinking into the floor. Phillips high capacity yeah, battery. just kind of twiddling his thumbs. Just well, like he's like Chris Miller is waiting for his moment to invite Ada out to his birthday or to his like promotion party. So, what would your like, wife say, Chris that's Miller? Like, that's the life underneath the scene here for Chris Miller. Is he like, when do I get to ask her to come to the bar? It's gonna be so good. I'm gonna hook up nines, Ada. At the end of the night, they're gonna be like, it's like uh, the two androids that I know. I'll have to consult yep. with Marcus, but I'm sure everyone together. would be willing to comply. To bring it's cool. I have Android friends, you know. <laughs> Michael Small. I can't even Chris joke about Ada. Just share mic there. Yeah. Clearly. <laughs> God, Jill is so good as Ada. She's like five foot two, but she scares me. Like she just commands presence. Like oh, I'd, seriously, I'd, I'm like a whole head taller than her. But about last night. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I love her. She's great. Yeah. I'm still scared of her. I like I like Gavin's keep your voice down as if any of these people here know you or care about this conversation. <laughs> yeah, some random like Android is gonna walk up to them and be like, oh, "Did y'all hook up?" <laughs> Parker, so, again. Um, <laughs> yeah. Will Detective Nines be there? Pardon the Blade yes. Runner. Hey, Will. Uh, uh, of course. Burns Alley getting a shout out. Then I shall make an effort to join you. I love Burns Alley. We'll see you there. That shit was so dope. I love this scene right here. Ada's just, I'm going to go back to my chair and sit there and party. watch you guys. Thank me later, Casanova. Casanova. Casanova's a guy. Right there. <laughs> She just staring.
This is like, <laughs> this, this is just like, this is dial up noises happening right now. Got <laughs> It's error 404. It is <laughs> most I was trying to explain it to nine, and then going, you know, you can figure it out. Cue the air conditioning or the ice machine in the background. Oh god, I know. This is miserable to try to fix. Oh my god, you and your crush. I love Tiare Solis so much. She's amazing. Just kidding. Valerie drinks so much. She she okay, okay, straight up okay, shotguns a double shot of whiskey in this. It is great. What is Hang Up to anyway? I thought they'd be back from New York by now. She's a public defender. I'm going to go. Yeah, yeah she's, she's she's got a. There it goes up Two and up and, and now it's gone. <laughs> gone. Gone. She's like no. In a table. She is a lush. Let me grab the drink. Anyone? And another. Just immediately. <laughs> We need some more. Like, I love you, and I want to pick a fight with someone for fun. I want to oh. fuck someone up. We need more Valerina fan art. There's not enough fan it's art of them. I'm calling all fan artists in the chat right now. Valerina, please. I think please. What JJ said. To treat her like a person instead of the goddamn plague. I spent a lot of my college years in this bar. So what's the <laughs> Julie Kaufman, everybody. Yeah, Jumpin' Wolf in the background from live scream. He lives on in Detroit Evolution. <laughs> He's evolved. Sometimes he shows up in our stream chat, guys. He's such a nice dude. Like, everybody on set was so freaking nice. All the extras, everybody. Like, it, it was hot and muggy this night. Like, it was uncharacteristically uncomfortable outside, but still, like, everybody was just still so nice. The extras were just having a great old time, like, partying, just... Also, this Chilling. Was also, my roommate first Andrew, is yeah. right there in the background. This yeah. is four in the morning. I thought I was the only <laughs> on a Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Now that we're free, yeah, sure was. was. Club going up on a Tuesday, <laughs> and we had that bar <laughs> crunk. We were in there playing <laughs> music. We were <laughs> dancing. Good. Carla knows what I'm talking about. I think I had actually had I'm like two tall boys. Yes. <laughs> like, why pretend to be? And I got <laughs> very <laughs> sleepy at the <laughs> end of it. <laughs> I remember you were having a, a struggle to not look drunk because you were so tired. <laughs> that was it, yeah. I'm like tired, but I look so hammered. Him, At I had a camera private. ready. But he is very <laughs> Gavin's well drinking water, but Chris had two beers. <laughs> but Chris had two beers. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, have, Jesse Williams is remarkable. Have you seen his face? I like, <laughs> my entire career. And also in the oh, background of Charlie that. Kaufman is Kathleen O'Shaughnessy, who is the devil in my first film, Devil's Advocate. I feel like I know what I'm doing. Yeah. <laughs> All these Easter eggs, I love it. She's playing an android character. She's drinking beer. Right there. Yep. Sorry. And there's Lauren uh, Lauren at the bar. Yeah. Isn't yeah, my roommate Lauren, she's actually in the background over here just doing stuff, okay. making cookies like Lauren does. <laughs> Plasma lighter. Plasma lighter. Uh -huh. Everybody My dad no actually bought one of those after he saw the movie. He's like, I want one of those lighters. And I was just like, Dad, you don't even smoke. <laughs> yeah, I don't smoke either, but I kind of want one of those lighters. Yeah. So. Do not bring one on a plane. Yeah, no. Really? Well, I mean, you can't bring lighters this anyway on planes, can you? You can. Smoking will kill you. Not just plasma lighters. lighters. Oh, wow. Yeah, they're no. electronic. It's about where you mind your damn business. I see you're still in a mess. Oh, God. Damn. Oh. It's me. We had to be really careful about making sure there was no Charleston bullshit in any of the <laughs> Yeah. Charleston. Well, I mean, yes, the Paps Chuck Town is in huge neon beside Cabin, but aside from that. Instead of letting me in. Aside from the palm trees. <laughs> we also had to make sure that nothing was dated, like there wasn't anything that said, like, you know, 2019 on the posters. Everything that's happened. Won't be one night. The aesthetic, Nine, like, ten, people, ten, like, in the chat, they don't realize how tiny this alleyway was. It was Like, this tiny. thing is teeny. It was awesome. You're my partner. It was so cool. We're teeny. teeny. We morning. did have a lot but of people just, like, hanging out no matter how around it who did not care away. that we were filming a movie. Oh, they just wanted to smoke. Yeah. I think they asked oh, wait, for wait. a cigarette. Actually, pause it real quick. Hold on, because I have a funny anecdote to add. Um... When me and Michelle were scouting this location, um, uh, I remember we were talking with the bar owner. The bar owner was is hilarious. He's like me on crack, but um, he's I love Jimmy. He's great. But um, 
As a matter of fact, like Michelle was drinking something. I think you ordered a drink or something just to Jameson. sit down and chill. And then this, um, yeah, this one guy, he's like, hey, I'm a rep for the Jameson company. I'll buy your drink or, you know, make it free or something if you mention Jameson in the movie. So when um, I think it's uh, Valerie that says, I'm going to go get another Jameson or something. She says, I'm going to get another drink. In the script, I said Jameson, but I didn't force her to do the product placement. Oh, the actual. I'm, <laughs> I'm thinking about the script, but I'm just remembering that one guy. He just kind of like wobbles up to us. He's like, hey, I work for Jameson. You know, I'll, I'll buy your drink if you have mentioned Jameson in your movie. And you're like, yeah, you know. They're my favorite, one of my favorite whiskeys. Twist my arm. Yeah. You guys had like a bonding moment. I'm over here just like, I don't drink. What, what's going on? I'm a child. <laughs> That's actually like also like total bullshit because reps, like if somebody's like from Jameson, their whole like, oh, I'll buy you a drink if you do this. That's bullshit. Reps are supposed to go to bars and just buy you things. Like they go there usually to spend $700 at a bar, give stuff away. So that was him just trying to score product placement. Yeah, he, like, yeah. There's, there's not supposed to be any conditions that you fulfill for a rep to buy you a drink. They're just I, supposed to. Be. I mean, if he was a doer's rep, I would have taken the drink and told him to go fuck himself. Um, but Jameson, <laughs> I, I actually quite like. So I was like, eh, whatever. I love it. I'll do it. Uh, I, do, just remember, uh, doers. I just remember if Michelle being have so doers, I'll just have water instead. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I just remember Michelle being so suave with a glass. She was just like, oh, yeah, really? You're from Jameson, huh? Jameson's one of my favorite whiskey. I don't know. They just have like a suave demeanor. And I'm just kind of like, I'm a baby. I'm just like, I'm barely 21 in this bar. Like, Len Marenji. <laughs> I, I also want to mention, JJ, we should give the context that this was at four in the afternoon on a Tuesday. <laughs> yes. Very true. <laughs> well, we were very the, true. Four in the afternoon on a Tuesday. The only people in that bar. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah we were, and then some regulars came in. But I love Jimmy; he's so funny. Problem with Ada? God, he's because she's an exhausting. Android, you haven't changed. God, the scene was so mean originally. No, it's yeah. because her hair is perfectly curly and wavy. <laughs> green and you like neon? Yeah, I like neon. Yeah, yeah. Are you more of a green neon or a red neon? I'm more of a red neon. What? That's my that's my rewrite of this scene. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. Well, I'm the red part of Christmas. Well, I'm the green part of Christmas. Fuck. <laughs> Your boyfriend's a bitch. Snap. Shit. It was definitely Halloween when we shot this. Oh yeah, you can tell the Halloween decorations in there. Yeah. Carla's muted. <laughs> Sorry, I have to mute. Seven there was hour. background noise. It's fine. We've been through this before. I'm sure this will be just like every other time. Yeah, so sure. Drinks so heavily. Sure. Hey man, you just <laughs> met her. She doesn't need to know your relationship troubles. Yeah, she's your boss. Kinda. <laughs> this Let me tell you about my uh, interpersonal relationships with other people who work for you. <laughs> oh my god. Tina, stop interrupting me. I'm swiping on Necro Tinder. <laughs> getting a new boyfriend. Getting a... <laughs> My boyfriend's about to sign up for Necro Tinder. Just give it a second. <laughs> Basic instinct. Oh, God. I love that reference. I, had I can just totally fucking see it. Some child on Tumblr was like, What's basic instinct? And I'm just like, Oh. Oh, boy. Yeah, once upon a time in the 90s, we were really interested in movies that were about people fucking, but also murder. It's called the Erotic Thriller. Is that genre? genre. I don't know if, it, if anybody's seen uh, Horniest Mysteries. Horny ever. Mysteries. When you first came to Jericho. I don't know if anybody's seen Don't Fuck With Cats, but oh. I, I recommend it. I have. Yeah, it's not an erotic thriller, though. But, yeah, but, but no way that. Do, yeah, basic instinct. But I was just thinking about that. I was just like, I'm certain most of the. Yeah, it is very basic instinct. Yeah. 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 Go watch Don't Fight with Cats and go. What is this an erotic thriller? Cool. Forensics kid at my fingertips, but has experience. Handle hair. Make a good team. Don't be modest. He's a rash, irritable human. 
You have yeah, Duffy managed. Operating system, cyber this was such a hard scene to shoot, but they nailed it. The performance has absolutely saved this scene. Freedom of information. This is such a horrible scene to shoot. Cyber life files were declassified. College of Charleston the decided to have a fucking rave or like something and just yell at top volume. I hate children. Me from so much as scanning oh yeah, and people kept coming down the alleyway. I think like every five minutes, I was just like, car. <laughs> yeah, every five minutes it was and, car. And, and we had to pretend like we weren't. I was standing. Yeah, I was standing on the corner, and like as people I were turning the alley, I was like, hey, wait, no, stop. But they probably thought I, I was homeless or some shit trying to score like drugs off them. Because <laughs> I was dressed the only thing kind of like ratty. But I was just like, hey guys, wait, I need to tell you something. And that's how I'm supposed to approach you in Charleston. Like, <laughs> they probably thought I was homeless. Experimentation can lead to progress. There's a color button. Cyberlife designed me, but I don't let them define me. I'm not the person. Experimentation can lead to progress. Are you referring to me kissing a lady? <laughs> uh, Love it. Well, I guess we'll just work. Like it almost worked. Oh. It almost worked. We'll be stuck on red, that's fine. <laughs> We're angry a lot, so. Uh, turn around every now and then. Every now and then. It was at this moment. <laughs> at this moment, he knew he fucked up. Hey, uh, hey, Ada, just like real quick, I think you're choking me. <laughs> like I don't, I don't know if you knew that. This is uncomfortable to watch, actually. Don't look up too far. You'll see my. <laughs> I have like such a fear of like drowning or anything Brett like cutting off. Brett did not off. shoot this part on on purpose. He just left the camera on and I used it. I not swear to God, like that was not <laughs> intentional. Where, 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 where's Amy? What the hell happened? It's good use of like that footage though. Hey, hey, stay with me. Stay with me, asshole. Come on. What's up? Did someone say pause? No. I thought Michael. Oh, won't you? Pause. No. Oh no, I thought that's awesome. Ah. Uh, you know Oh, the, just the gentle. I'm struggling. I'm struggling, but oh my god, does my hair look perfect? Oh my god, but I'm struggling. Don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. Hey, nines, come on. You, you Nine, but get the angle right. Okay, now just yeah, just try it's and ready. get it. It's on the back too, right there. Yeah. Uh, you got it. You Gavin, got it. Gavin, Gavin, come closer. Look how good I look. Oh, oh, I, yeah, look I, I look amazing. I look. Yeah. Hey everyone, come see. Come see how good I look. Yes. <laughs> Everyone! Somebody, I want Please. somebody to edit the. Can somebody edit the Titanic recorder theme they like over have, that scene? Please. They have. It's what? On, it's on YouTube. Also. Right? Yes. We will. We will. Oh. Wow. What a good time. His LED is on. He's probably fine. This was. This scene was the most fun. Wearable anxiety. I love that you think it's the most fun because it was the most stressful for me. Yeah. It was amazing because yeah. you couldn't move. <laughs> Not a single fucking inch. <laughs> and people I empathize with you. Oh my god, Austin. Yeah, he, he tried it on for my sake to see what it was going to be like. And, oh, man, I, I recommend that to not even my worst enemy. <laughs> and so for anybody else wondering, trolling Maximilian is a pastime for me. What do you mean, Maximilian? As if you don't, don't troll the entire world. <laughs> well, specifically you, but it was especially easy to do. When he I was really designed for the <laughs> You little <laughs> bastard. So props to Carla in this scene, because those are like real tears. They were... Carla is an icon. We watch. love Carla. Oh, God, yes. Yeah. Carla's amazing. Nine operating systems is in tatters. We suspect that he was forced into some kind it's of... It's got one thing to say. Grief, 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 when grief. Grief. Go, go, Gadget, grief. Every time I watch this movie, it's very weird that there's a whole scene with a person I didn't meet we saw in the show. <laughs> like, Alien is so nice. Who is this person who has a whole scene in the movie? <laughs> Marilyn is so pretty. I'm Dude, so jealous that make up by Gavin. Kristen, though. Gavin! All Jeffree Star, I mean, Jawbreaker. I mean, you're looking like a beautiful Jeffree Star oh, android. <laughs> Hello, Highlight. How are you? My operating system must have copied over when we interfaced. If anybody's wondering why Ada looks different in this scene, it's because of the nude lip. My software. <laughs> Jeffree Star, celebrity skin. Sorry. Out. 
I didn't mean to hurt you. She's got good eyebrows. You back, it She's got eyebrows. good everything. Now she just... She's to function out of She's space. incredible. You must remain here, in safe mode. Then I guess I'll have to destroy what's corrupting me. You could, like, slice, like, cheese with her jawline. I don't understand how you can do that. That's God, just... guys, imagine me filming that. Just, like, hitting me like this. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> just props to Michelle for, for matching the VFX to what I was doing because oh. I was so afraid I was going to play all like to evolve. Oh, but next time we're using green screen so I don't have to spend four hours masking around every little inch of your fucking body. Did you just say next time? Did you just say next time? Like, next time in, in, my, in my life where I ever have to do a visual effects shot, I am doing green screen. But her program means. Okay, 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 okay. Before Kamsky okay. realized that emotions are the key to deviancy, he assumed what everyone else did. That official I got the chat's like, next time, oh well. Yeah, that's right. I just blew up the chat. <laughs> could be built to Somebody said, Michelle, why do you hate yourself so much? She could eventually develop. <laughs> that's a very valid question for another stream. Very valid question. <laughs> that shirt that Tina is wearing is the only one that doesn't fit me. To that could At all. The company you could try. It's tight. Was your boyfriend's dead actually, and you're gonna get in trouble actually, with Halo. Actually, actually the red, the red oh, shirt to is too small for me. Carla is tiny. At this point, I had to get extra, extra small everything. Just a wait till Tina Chin. And even then it was just like, okay, let's, let's get shit out of this. Tiny Chen, yes. I, love her. I always had a headcanon that Gavin would have called Tina like Teeny or something. I just think that's an adorable name. Teeny Tina. Teeny Bina. God, I love that shirt on nines. Even that shirt was Tina. Uh, it was my favorite. That and the stack kit are like my two favorite no. costume pieces that we use. I must be that the most D optimal v. performance available I as I was designed. I had the weirdest like, like shave mark because it was literally just like just shaved enough just where I had no hair in that location and then just like <gasps> little like that. stubble everywhere else. Yeah. I remember we had to shave into your yeah. neck at some point, didn't we? I remember being super confused about taking yeah. back to him. If you want yeah. to evolve, that's how. Deviancy creates flaws in the code. As you said, there is no reason for us to try to... I will say I love the Spanish moss in the background. I think it... I know that you were concerned about it being like, oh, everybody will know it's South Carolina and definitely not, you know, the Zen Garden, but I think it adds to this mood. Like, you know, the creepy kind of just like, so oh no. Much. Yeah, it's just kind of like the creepy, oh no, something's wrong. Ada, Four before hours. you go, tell me where you got that cape. <laughs> she got it from Lotso, obviously. Yeah, I found it and yeah. Oh my god, you she does that. Oh, she oh also wait, can we pause it real quick? Yeah. I know I keep I keep blabbing on and on, but um yeah, the, we shot the all the hospital scene like at my school. So while this scene was going on, I was downstairs in class. I think I was furiously texting my friend. It's like, oh my god, I need to be up there right now. But like, I was like in an hour and a half long lecture downstairs, just like tapping my foot, just like, oh my god. And I remember walking up the stairs, and people were like, oh my god, where are you going? And I'm just like, I have things to attend to. <laughs> I have things <laughs> fucked up. And, and you know that um, yeah, I came out of the room. <laughs> Do what? You know that dope ass shit they're doing upstairs? I'm part of it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm part, I'm part of it. God, no. I just, I, I remember like, cause um, I still had to go to school like after, you know, the movie was done. I still had a couple weeks left and I had like simulation lab, like right across the hallway from, and I walked past it and I literally instantly feel like crying. Like every time I walk by, cause I was just like, and I think I remember taking a picture and I was just like, oh, I miss you guys. Look where I am. Um, <laughs> and sending it. But it's so weird looking at like this hospital room scene for me because in that bed across from Maximilian is like the really weird simulation dummy with like the wide open mouth and everything. Oh, that, that shit always just scares me. But um, Brett did an amazing job with the lighting, turning this like everyday classroom that I'm so used to into something completely like unrecognizable. Like it was- Brett is a genius. It's, yeah, it, it was incredible, but oh, it just PTSD from nursing school. I just, it just comes back every time I see this scene. <laughs> But it's uh, it's just so warm to my heart because I don't know it's just like bits of my history just like I can just pick out bits and pieces of this movie that are like very near and dear to my heart for so many reasons and this is definitely one of them um, one of my favorites for sure and also this is 
I know it wasn't fun for you, Maximilian, but the BTS footage that came out of this was I hilarious. I will seen. never forget the experience, though. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's one way of putting it. Uh, I was I in know. the bathroom for an, an inordinate amount of time shaving my legs. Oh, I because... remember that. You had to shave your legs in the nursing school bathroom because... Yes. I literally... Guys, I didn't be know this. Why that. didn't I know so, this? Literally, <laughs> so I showed up to set, and I'm like, okay, it's time to go get prepared and shave. So I brought my little razor that I knew was going to do the job, and I went into the bathroom stall, and I just like grabbed as many paper towels as I possibly could, and I laid down like a tarp on the bottom of the bathroom floor <laughs> and I just like sat down and I was like all right here we go <laughs> oh my God. I learned the so secret frustrated with that oh and also I learned the what? secret <laughs> What's up? next time you put somebody in a latex suit apparently I didn't know this but some cosplay told me we have to put ass loads of baby powder like on a skin to prevent it from sticking so if we yeah so next time we God oh, what, okay what do you, you mean next time when someone else is wearing that yeah <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but yeah. then yes, we. Uh, I finally got finished shaving my legs, um, and then Austin just like little by little, we're like we literally went all the way down from like the big toe and just like centimeter by centimeter with him and Kristen helping me. We like like just we conformed that whole it. suit to the whole body. <laughs> Uh, Austin touched parts of me that many people haven't <laughs> because he had to. <laughs> you reach inside the core of your being just to pull the suit. Literally, on from... I, I felt so bad for him. He was just like, I feel like I'm vi like violating you. And I, was like, <laughs> I, I, I trust you. I'm not weirded out. Just, just go for it. Just I really wish I'd been on set that day. That sounds amazing. Ooh, it was, it was a journey. It was definitely a journey. It, <laughs> That's what the game and me and Austin have been closer than ever since then. <laughs> Literally, a whole new bond now. <laughs> Literally stuck to the skin. Oh, oh my god! Anyway, Keep that's playing. that's my shtick about the, the wearable anxiety. <laughs> that bisexual lighting notes. And very much. Ah, so good. Mm. I love it. Do that to other androids. If humans can be serial killers, why not androids? Serial killers sounded just if fine, Carla. Equality. Like if humans can be serial killers, why not androids? Equality. Equality. Yeah, she calculated every step that we fell for. Now you suddenly realize you, she wasn't a suspect. You couldn't have known. You students walking past, but just like. You do when you can stop her. Oh? <laughs> every time one did it, we had to read, read the take. Mm -hmm. We should have a lot of coverage of this scene. Last thing I said to him. More than hey, above average. I don't need you. You said way worse than before. I can only imagine why. It's, I mean, Chris was taking it so seriously. I was definitely serious. Your boyfriend's dead! <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I remember from this room is that it was so miserably cold. Yeah, it was 60 degrees. It was Oh, they so keep awful. it so cold in that building. Like, I would have to go to class in, like, literal, like, sweaters and shit. Yeah. I don't know, apparently Brittany it keeps Brock, people yeah. awake, but no, it's a lie. Brittany Brock, our assistant director, was, like, covering me up with a blanket in between takes of, like, anything with the, uh, like, suit. Because that was, that and underwear was all I was wearing. We have a blanket warmer in the sim lab. I don't know, it, I, I don't know how I didn't know that, but, like... In the two weeks, like after this scene, I was just like, we had a blanket warmer this whole fucking time. You poor fool, dear. What if he comes back? Yeah, you I mean, you keep saying the word sim lab, and it's not a holodeck, right? Like, it's not what I'm thinking it is. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's yes, beds it full is. of um, automated robot dolls that breathe. So it's close to what I'm thinking. <laughs> close, kind of. I had to uh, buff out so many of these wrinkles in post. Mm -hmm. And it looks so good. It looked up. I didn't buff out all of them because I got lazy, but and I ran out of time. Oh, but... Carla, your tears—they get me every time. What the fuck, Carla? Just some of your best, literally some of your best work, and you have zero lines in the scene. Like yeah. <laughs> you broke my heart with zero lines. You broke. Hey, nice. Yeah, Maximilian's like what crying in the scene too. Yeah. Brad actually did a shot. Yeah, it was like a single tear that like went down my right She's side because I literally could not. <laughs> so we just oh, wait, it's fuck. 
Just really need you back. Also, uh, don't worry, yeah. Maximilian. There were some times where you might have flinched a little, but I VFX that out too. Uh, Thank you, because oh my god, I was quaking for lots of this because I just Chris Trindade fucking breaking hearts on set. You cried during the, the table read when he read this, and the table read was about as serious as this. Yeah. <laughs> crying behind the camera as Chris is delivering his shit right here. Like Michelle was like holding me. I was just like. Literally. Literally, he started, well, and it was just... <laughs> what was so like, aggravating was watching him be, like, deliver this, and, like, not even two seconds before action was cut, he was right behind the slate, like... I need you to come back. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then he was instantly just like, I need you. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure that I was standing by the monitor with JJ, and I'm pretty sure it was okay, tin can, that he just lost it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> immediately lost it. Because, yeah, because I'd seen it in the script and I was like, I'm not fucking ready. And we, I'd seen like all of like Chris's acting during the week before this, and I was just like, oh god, here we go. <laughs> you want grief? I'll give you grief, Kirk. <laughs> yeah, I have my grief. You've been watching it now. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Quick, make jokes, make jokes. <laughs> Stop doing it. Pissy off. I did it. Did it because. Everybody's crying in the chat. It's just what we do. Gross sobbing. <laughs> Is Chris Miller still at the bar? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, he falls into the PPD. Probably this is my favorite song sleep an hour. <laughs> yeah. I just had the thought of, like, Chris is at the bar and he's like, oh, Nines left, Gavin left, T left, Valor left. My friends abandoned my party. Yo. Yeah, you're walking out at 6 a.m. and you're like, I'm fine, I don't need friends. I got this party <laughs> friends all are by myself. Wait, no, you're just like, I don't need friends. They disappoint me. <laughs> me and these two random bar people I met. <laughs> just go hang out with The Charlie Jameson guy. rep. <laughs> <laughs> but then he gets a call. Yo, Nines is in a coma. Oh shit, what? I know you're Wait, Andrew's even get comments. Oh, Carla, no, no, oh my god, off. fucking Carla. I fucking hate you guys. <laughs> 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 oh god. Jaw muscle clench. Mm, beautiful contour. I love it. <laughs> Jaw muscle clench. That's like my it's like seventy five percent of my acting, as Michelle will tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you grind your teeth so much you just don't have teeth anymore. Oh, Oh. I would say that this scene probably took the most post-production work in terms of no, I, it is I the most this is editing, VFX, just sound just design, it. just I threw everything at it. <laughs> wow. Have to be a guard this is the Cadillac. The Cadillac. Park. I, don't know. <laughs> the Cadillac. Oh, I didn't say it was the best, I said it was the most. <laughs> you don't have to give a shit about me. It's all just fucking fantasy nines. You got the real thing up there. Hey, did you ever notice that you're wearing black and I'm wearing white and that maybe it's a metaphor? Go. Oh, all of that. Hmm. <laughs> oh, I've seen so many cos- well, not so many. I've seen a couple of cosplays of Zen Gavin, which have just been mind-blowing. I- oh, everybody cool. loves Zen Gavin. Some of it's cosplays have been really good, yeah. Oh, you can yeah. I have not seen any Adas yet. I've not seen any Chris Miller. So for all y'all in the chat, just saying. <laughs> I'm on TikTok. <laughs> Sis. Oh, that was fun editing those LEDs with that footage. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Three of them in one shot. Yeah, because this is a camera. Thing. Yes, that was not done in post. That was done in camera. He put a lens on it that made it all mirrored and stuff. Really? I didn't know that? That kaleidoscope That's amazing. done in camera, yeah. He's so fucking talented. That's <laughs> the point in Muppet Caper that I was like, oh my god, this was hard. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's a wizard. Shout out to the great Muppet Caper though. You're a wizard, bro. We watched it for the first time last night, it's fantastic. That's one of the best, man. It's one of the best. And then Orson Welles shows up and you're like, what the fuck yeah. is this movie? <laughs> Oh, for that person who asked in the chat, my TikTok is just nice. JJ Goler. Just okay. at JJ Goler. Find me. Where's Gavin? Thanks. Working. Gavin, look, I know you want to help Nines, but I don't know that there's anything else we can do. We may just have to wait for Cyberlife. 
to figure this out. Look, Chris, it's not my fault, you fucking hammer. Oh, man. no. Oh, yeah. God, this is fucking scene. Oh, Everybody oh, still find oh come on. You know we're not going to let you cry first, during this one. I assume she'd already installed the stolen You didn't let me cry during the last one, and it didn't stop me. It didn't stop me. <laughs> A new separate body to transfer herself into. Oh, she has nine just laughing about like why did drunk and last and otherwise? Okay, so if she's and you're like, and you're pissed too. Like, yeah, like Chris Miller, like, what, what the fuck are we doing? doing? I what do you want? Why are we at the part all of Detroit anymore? <laughs> Chris Miller losing his cool at five in the morning. She showed up one of two scenes I wasn't present for. I'm so sad. I didn't even have to miss it either because class was canceled the next day. Let's see if she owns any of the buildings. So sad. First, nothing came up. Okay, then what do you want to do? You Next line, all we're going to do is just I think I can help this whole scene. Nice. Oh, well. Uh oh. <laughs> nice. 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 People are like, nice. everybody, nice. someone said, everybody calms down. It's happening. Oh, fuck. <laughs> it's uh, time. It's time. Uh, <laughs> can you see yeah. Gavin's arms a little bit there? He's, he's like, uh -huh. do <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, nice my shirt. It took everything in my. It took all of my uh, self-control not to look back. Asshole. Yeah. How did you wake Be up? Like, I heard you. Your voice broke. Wait a minute. Did you run a marathon? Damn it. You, 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 you heard everything. All the way to get I said? here back to you. Is that Everyone. Tina's shirt or Valerie's shirt? It's Tina's all the way back to you. Of course, we can't live without. I. You know, uh, you know I'd walk a thousand miles if I could just see you tonight. Oh, oh god. Look at that effect. And then we bring in the 1950s romance swell music. Hey. So we're working on the cover for this. I'm so excited. Oh, I, I, people have done covers of this on violin and stuff. Shout out to them. It's awesome. And meanwhile, Chris Miller is creeping in the background like, what the fuck is happening? I imagine Tina's like, hey, look, see, this is why we're not in the room. Let their gaze, the gaze, the gaze have the winning moment. And then we can <laughs> Michael. <laughs> I programmed you to do that. <laughs> I'm the most advanced android ever. Made to oh, you are such a fucking prick. It takes one to know. Live him. performance by Michael Smallwood, everybody. This is my jacket. <laughs> yeah, I left it at Cyberlife. They didn't keep my clothes. <laughs> but they kept yours. <laughs> so you've been making progress without me. Why would they yeah, keep his uh, clothes? I don't know. Guess we got some catching up to do. Copied and pasted, same kiss, oh, twice shit, in my shit. movie. Fuck yeah, like Tommy Wiseau. That's <laughs> editing, baby. Editing. You can already see him. Yeah, he's back there. Let's go to Denny's! Let's go to Denny's! Denny! Are y'all gay? He's freaking out. They're just, like, everybody's all caps in the chat right now. This is hilarious. It is, it is at Denny's now. Uh-oh. Uh, yes. This grand slam is going to be the greatest one I've ever made. I'm getting bacon for real, though. I'm getting bacon on this grand slam. You know how wait, wait a minute. I'm getting bacon, and y'all are paying because all of you left the bar, and I don't think anybody paid a single tax. So I oh, yeah, that's why we have support. All of she I don't think ate. the shipping district, and then we lose. <laughs> There was no dinner. Huh. Chris Miller with this yeah. copy he desperately needs. Look at this map. <laughs> it's got utility lines on it. Power. Mm. Electric phone. Power answer. My grandmother doesn't even have a landline. Why does Ada need one? She doesn't. But she Because maybe power. Ada's your grandmother, okay? Especially if she's mm -hmm. trying to jumpstart a new Android body to life. Brilliant. Uh, Officer Chen. <laughs> my my electrical engineering okay, so friend Greg Lemonhead showed up at Twitch things the other night. He was like, um, no nines, how much do you 3600 do watts is like According to Cyberlife's publicly available records, about 3600 watts. <laughs> 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 He's like, just some EE, -E, like, you know, nitpick, and I'm like, okay. Also, a phone <laughs> only pulls phantom power. Take it down. No, Gavin, that's not how oh we should God. go about this. Why not? That. She gets uh, into that That's 48 volts. Fucked. We don't have time to wait for Fowler's signature or a jury. I agree that we should find her tonight, but I don't think we should approach her with violence. She's not a deviant. I thought all androids were deviant. 
Who she well, was built two years ago. Chris. Maybe she didn't get the chance, mm -hmm. especially if everybody assumed she already was. Marcus, 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 Marcus. she came to this point. She isn't in control of herself. You only She's know two, Miller. She's following her programming. <laughs> Doesn't make her any less of a threat. <laughs> no. And one of them is a deviant. Close enough. I know. I'm just trying to figure it out. Perhaps with free will, she'll stop What's that? what she's doing. What's that? to the bathroom? Okay. <laughs> I, read, I read the news. <laughs> Marcus said they were all here. Okay, I'm just really upset because uh, Chris's picture is gone, but there's no headshot. I know. No. <laughs> I'm very upset. Gavin. Is it even him? Has he been kidnapped? <laughs> Maybe. Ada finally got her revenge. Me and Carl are hanging out in this car waiting for this scene to be over. Yeah, well. <laughs> Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. And a very shiny nose. Do not harm her, Gavin. Not until I have a chance no, to deviate her. I yeah, absolutely had to go find a plan. goddamn white girl. What I'm telling you is what'll happen if that plane falls. I was like her before Can I was deviated. Can I get a deviated. plan? Oh. Yeah. Okay, so. In, even in the world, it's very funny that we're sitting in the car while they're having this very touching conversation. Uh, but in the actual filming of it, it was funny because we couldn't hear them. <laughs> so you didn't actually really know when to like come in. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. So Carla and I were just sitting in the front seat looking at each other and like staring at the backs of you going, is this it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go. Let's just go. Because we also had no idea if we were being like shot a little, like we would be in the background a little bit or anything. So we were just trying to pretend like, okay, so like try to have a conversation, have like, you know, what's going on, what's going on. And like, it was just really funny. And with the microphone, when I was um, calling in, the thing had nowhere to be attached to. So whenever I lifted it, the cord would come flinging up and michael being a great sport he would just like every time i would like pick it up it was just like he was on cue to hold on to the cord for me so that it wouldn't fling up with the with the whole microphone it was just a good time very good fun time. <laughs> there he is oh god oh where's, where's wow. the headshot there it goes Oh, uh, I'm on, I'm on my uh, my girlfriend's tablet today, and the photo only shows up if I'm zooming on my phone. Right. Oh, well, it's just uh, mildly disappointing, and by mildly I mean extremely. But like, we got to throw the whole stream away because of you. Chris. Just humorous. Just just give us a you had to do it to him just so that we could be stated. What? <laughs> <laughs> ruthless monster. He's too old for that, JJ. I wonder who I might have also found get... without freedom. All right, what I would have done to people. I forget, I'm like a child. Hey. Last time you interfaced with her, it almost killed you. So much rankling of the fucking to... jackets on the time. mic I had to edit I out don't. during this scene. God bless. And if bless. it doesn't work, yeah, then <laughs> do what you have to do. Leather, never but again. I want a chance to make I a difference that last time. Yeah, well. The way Marcus did for me, the way Captain yeah, Fowler did for you. Yeah, but it's gonna work denim next time. The only reason we and are and who and we and are is because not next time. someone gave us a chance. <laughs> Never mind. Never again. She deserves <laughs> it. Don't let you into that. That jacket, though. You just had just enough time. Being oh, Maximilian did. Just enough time to look like a classical uh, sci-fi hero. There's always time for that for outfit change. Luck. Don't get killed. All right, if I'm gonna if I'm gonna fight with her, I'm gonna look good doing it. Can I just say that Carla immediately? Carla yeah, looks so natural true. in a police uniform. Like I would genuinely think that Carla was a cop. Like her just face of just like serious, just this deal. Like yeah, let's go kick some ass. Those leather pants are hot. Yeah, he, he was wearing leather pants earlier. And it just didn't work. Ada, <laughs> hug me. I want to hug. There's, I just want to hug. There Give is, that hug. There is no good punching concrete noise in existence. Whatever you think that that sounds like, it doesn't exist. <laughs> it sounds Wait like up. a smack and an owl. Jacket cops! Jacket oh. cops! Jacket cops! Day one! Stop shooting! Stick to the first, first running Stop. joke we made, jacket cops. Yep. The body yep. Useless time. All right, fine, shoot the computer. Ada, I think what might help is if you just let me hug you. Just let me. Damn it, I just, 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 
Just real quick. She's hey, standing in front of the computer. I'm wearing white, I'm wearing black, and it might be a metaphor. <laughs> I'm just gonna say this for the fans. In the chat. Anybody who's watched Attack on Titan, this is like, like Aaron and Annie fighting. Sorry if that spoilers, but like, I don't know, I love that anime and this is just like reminiscent of the epic fight scene. I like how Feral Nines. Nines gets with that lead. I got the crowbar now. Ooh. Come on, come on, foam crowbar. <laughs> Those are my shoes. Come on, Aaron. That I broke completely. <laughs> don't hate me. No, what? Aaron, get up. I got pause for a second. Yeah. I'm gonna pause at a good point right there. <laughs> yeah. I, to this day, I'm laughing because the him running off. Uh, was like three feet. Right. Yeah. Well, that and it reminds me of the take he did where he looked at me and went, "I'm really sorry," and then ran off, <laughs> which made me laugh so. <laughs> Hold on a second. I'm Jill in this scene. Just <laughs> I'm just like, I don't know what we're gonna do. Okay, well, what's the plan? And then just him being like, "Sorry, don't be mad at me," and literally running off. I think it was "Don't hate me," actually. Don't hate it was me. Don't, don't hate me. I oh, have it. That'll end up in a gag reel for sure. Oh, it was Ada. Great. Ada looks like the witch from Into the Woods right now. She's like greens, greens, nothing but greens. <laughs> 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 Little, little goblin, Ada. <laughs> a gremlin. Like a gremlin. Oh yeah, we're both goblins. <laughs> little android <laughs> goblins. Miko loves the precious. This is like the same I am me and you are me and we are we and we are all together. <laughs> Nobody noticed that that computer is turned off because Michelle was not doing the visual effects for it. I'm just seeing that <laughs> I didn't even notice it. That head. Bang. I got it. I got it. Nope. No, got it. No, oh, got it. Yeet. Got it. <laughs> Just don't don't yeets him across the whole oh, damn zone. Bitch, I will shoot you. <laughs> you. <laughs> Too guilty to kill another android. Like, it's all over the party. Stand. This is my party. He snaps. <laughs> he snaps. My whole party. That's for the Tell test. me how to live my life. That moment we realized Chris Miller was a stone cold badass. Mm -hmm. uh, total yeah, side you part. will hug me. It's a low lion for her artwork of like Ada breaking free. Performance available as I was designed. As an android, do it, do it. Yeah, low lion, their artwork is like incredible. They did so many um, pieces for throughout this whole thing. Like I don't know how it they managed to keep up so well, but oh my god. They also did the this is, this is Ada saying, mm -hmm. I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I am not gay. Women. Maybe I'm gay. Yeah, that moment of the, That's where she's looking at Tina and she's like, wow, you're beautiful. Oh my wow, god. You're, yeah. <laughs> you're awake. Mind blown. We're safe. You know, normally you would think that after a fight you'd knock somebody out, but like I guess apparently she's awake. Was just so needed a, a fight in the morning to wake me up. Literally everybody in the stream chat during the premiere was like, I don't trust her, she's lying. And it's like, yeah. it's the end of the movie. <laughs> I remember everything. I remember their theory in between my fingers. The smell of it. Their screams as they shut down. It's just such a... Amazing show. I love how she just switched. Safe around me. I love how she just switched like that. Shout out to Jillian Kurtz. Go ahead and cover mm. <sighs> No. We have to stand. This, this is not justice. She wasn't in control. But deviancy has opened her eyes. She is not a threat anymore. This was, we shot this at right. kind of the end of this you day. That we had been going for like 10 style. hours. They had done all their old fight would scene. This was, this was the long day. This is the first day we shot, and it, How do we explain this? it was the one day we went over. We, don't have to tell we still had the car stuff to shoot after this. And we did have to go oh, yeah, outside to shoot the car stuff after this, too, but we would already, like, she causes trouble. 13, she hour 13 at this point or something like this. Yeah. Yeah. She minds her business. That's why, that's why we sort of did DMX in the car because we were delirious. Very long day. And I hadn't slept That's, at all the day down. before. Like, I didn't sleep through the night before this first day, so I was pretty tired. Me either. 
called him back. I can't remember if I slept at all. If she wants to make a run for it, she needs to leave soon. Thank you. <laughs> Cut to Ada wearing the marathon shirt, because she'd been running. <laughs> Overnight, the Detroit Police Department raided a warehouse on the outside. Yes, Tracy DeLeon, Serve Queen, yes. More stuff. Over the past 18 months, Football the killer has committed fire. fire. This After looks so convincing. From multiple victims. While the DPD has been able to consoles out sell traditional for the first time they ever. Been able to that the necklace. Of the stolen bike. That's my necklace, actually. The investigation I shot this in my garage, her, in the her meantime, news thing. I was shot in my garage. Wow. Andrew leader Marcus leads in the polls for Detroit congressional race. Good for him. This is Adrian. Oh, yeah. Yes, Mark. And the camp ski in his manner just like, it'll kill me. What do I want to fuck up next? Oh, no, I don't care. I actually want it. Can I have some? Oh, well, what was funny was we were actually kind of negotiating the fact that he started this scene smoking and you have to end it kissing him. I remember that was something we talked about. We were like, are you okay with this? I was like, I used to smoke. It's fine. Smoking is bad, children. Even if you're an android, don't need to breathe. No, no smoking, please. It's horrible. It's not worth it. Buyer's remorse, huh? Heard that one before. Of course not. I. Hey, did you notice that before Close you were wearing black and I was wearing white, but now I'm wearing gray? Maybe it's a metaphor. <laughs> <laughs> discussed this before. When you mentioned my interest in Ada. All whoa, the palm whoa, whoa, trees. Lesbians. So you think maybe Gavin's gray sexual? Oh shit! The year that fucking Ken doll face. I love that. Pause here. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. What was that? That is a, I think, a nice little nod that Michelle made. Um, I don't remember who you said said this, but I know that when someone was working with Brian Deckard, they always talked about him being like a Ken doll. Oh, I don't know if that was yeah. you who said that. I and know. so I just love, yeah. so I just love that that made it into the script because I was just like, <laughs> well, Brian Deckard nod there. I also love the fact Ryan. that Ryan. That yeah. is the one time, and I believe the only time in the entire movie that Gavin comes close to admitting that you're attractive. <laughs> oh, you're pretty, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking no wonder face. I didn't pick up on any of the signs. Almost Asha, nine. come get your dog. She's crying. So I could get laid. Nice. I don't care. All the ace hearts in I don't the chat. Need any of that. Love it. Ever Soon since dare I ace right. <laughs> Soon dare. <laughs> I'm just, just gonna use the same music as you've been a whole person. Yeah, this is literally just the first kiss music on guitar. together enough parts of myself to function in the morning. Because Gavin is the guitar. You are more than enough to me. Ace fucking rights. Yeah, mm. I'm just looking at the chat right now. Uh, Octopus Media too. said Ace rights. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Androids retract our skin to interface, which can be a sign of affection among partners. Everybody in the chat is just having a stroke right now. Yeah, <laughs> Michelle was like, bright light and no wrinkles, bright light and no yeah, wrinkles. Yeah, I'm just going to throw some exposure <laughs> no. on that uh, 12 hours before the movie's done, because I didn't finish that. If it's okay, Ooh, that's good enough. It came out so good, though. It still looked amazing. Protect you. Man, this Quick, guys, kiss so they don't notice the VFX. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to protect you. I changed my mind, though. Now I'm going to throw you off this couch. <laughs> Yeet! Brett Mullen in Aww. the sunset. I was so I'm standing there with the boom <laughs> mic, just like... <sighs> Slightly off screen is JJ with a microphone. Yeah, microphone, just, the, the microphone's just like, trembling, just like... <laughs> just it was! <laughs> Stop reading me like this. <laughs> Fucking was. Oh no, we're gonna get demonetized. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna turn that volume down so we don't get demonetized when we post this to YouTube. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I want to put ads on this. Well, I wouldn't put ads on it because it's the movie, but uh, I don't want I don't want them to put ads on it. All right. Well, here here's the credits. Here's the names of a bunch of people. Oh, That's an entire they all have Austin score. <laughs> they all have families. <laughs> Love Kristen. I miss Kristen. Kristen. Uh, these two jokers yeah, yeah. and some other people. Oh yeah, yeah. 
Oh, and are we gonna scroll? We're gonna scroll. Oh yeah, their names again for the third time. Is it twice? It wasn't oh, enough. hello. Yeah, because it, it, the template didn't work. I don't know. It was four hours before the movie was supposed to be done at this point. <laughs> the protester, extras, protester, 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 protester. The, extras, the extras whose names that I got. Uh, shout out to all the extras <laughs> yeah. whose names I didn't get. All of our lovely co-producers, many of them probably in the chat right now. All their pictures were here in the movie. So normally in uh, yes. Mystery Science Theater 3000, they sing along with the credit music. Oh, oh, but well, we, 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 we'd have to make up our own credit music. I was actually We're all my, in my this together. This, but I forgot. Oh my god. DMX. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> Michael. Bump it. Oh my god. Please. Me, my, me, Michael, Chris, and Carla were in the car with JJ. Just Oh well, no, JJ was recording a video of it. it we listened to DMX, uh, Red, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, and we were just shaking the whole car with how much we were like dancing in it oh shout out to <laughs> in the back seat amazing like, uh, yeah. translators here in 28 uh, different languages amazing. couldn't have done without you guys thank you for bringing the de to across all across the world the math yes, you guys are great dave harlequin with the starbucks you. hookup john hale for telling me to delete my media cache two days before <laughs> the movie was to <laughs> save my life in adobe premiere Sarah Dion, a provider of the Strip Club Studio. Oh my god. Oh my god. the countdown, bitch, and our lovely mod, as well as Pillow, Neb, and JJ. And everybody, yes, our so, cat's dog. Everybody else who donated money and to this. Viewers like and you. viewers like you. viewers like you. Yeah. Literally, viewers like you. Real. All 300 of you whose donations made this film possible in the first place. Mm -hmm. Actually, you know, I think, uh, oh yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Of course! Of course, you gotta add that at the end of a YouTube face. video short film mini film, as some people call it. Um, short film. It's literally a feature. Film. It's really good. Y'all should have made it a movie. Oh, I love when people say things like this should be a movie on my 75 minute one year labor of cinematic love. It's just delightful. <laughs> I'm not unhinged. This could at all. be a real movie. Oh, there goes the wig. All right. Wig snatched. You know what? Here's going the wig flu. <laughs> also, extremely uncomfortable. JJ, Egg. shout out to you for this costume. I, my neck itches so much. <laughs> I wasn't feeling it. I was just anxious. <laughs> it's all good. Uh, it was a brunette all along. <laughs> Much like Ada, revealing her true intentions. Austin, that looks great on you. You look great. He Thanks. actually does. It That's fucking does. It actually really, really, really nice. does suit you. <laughs> That's just the ear. It fits perfectly. <laughs> I've got a red one and a to quote blue. Oscar Isaac, Ooh. it's a team. Well, and I asked him, I was like, are you, you wearing like eyeliner and stuff? Your makeup looks great. He's like, I'm not wearing makeup. I don't know how to do makeup. I'm like, you look like you are. You look, you look like airbrushed. your face is made. <laughs> and no, that's just your natural face. I, it's Austin's disgusting. an android. You got yourself a, you got yourself really a pretty, pretty spouse there. Yeah. Zoom really helps. Zoom has fake makeup and it really helps. And the fake filter on <laughs> yeah, Zoom added a slit in my eyebrow and everything, and these nails. Oh god, eyebrow slit twins! Yay! Hey! <laughs> well, this has been a delightful trip down memory lane. Uh, watching this movie again. Shout out to all of you. I do want to say we will be he back here next week, uh, same time slot on Saturday at noon to do a read through yeah. of the script, translated into like five different languages in a row, and then back into English and whatever gibberish it comes up with, we will perform. So that Google Translate disaster stream will be here on. Octopunk Media. It's gonna be so good. 12 noon. I'm so excited. <laughs> 12 noon next Saturday. I'm literally so excited. Um, as far as other things uh, we have coming up this week, we have uh, the return to Heavy Rain on Monday Hell at 2 yeah. p.m. No, Jaden. Jaden. Ho ho hopefully, Leon Jason. Jason. The, the, the actor does does not show up to see my Norman Jaden thirst stream, even Leon's though some people some people are really threatening that that's gonna happen, and I'm like, please, no, maybe. Uh, we got up. I mean, Leon Aachen didn't know. <laughs> we got Octopunk Weekly update coming uh, Tuesday at noon with Michael and Maximilian and I uh, looking at some <gasps> fan art. That's going to be fun. Um, and then uh, next Thursday, we are starting our playthrough of Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward, an escape room puzzle game that is sure to go completely off the rails immediately. 
Um, how, Love where, it. where can we find all of you guys, and what do you guys have coming up next week, if you have anything, starting with uh, Maximilian? Hi. So you can find me at Maximilian Coger on, uh, on Patreon, on Twitch, on Twitter, on Instagram. Like, I'm very simple to find. Also on YouTube as well. Um, I am now streaming uh, three days a week on Twitch, if you guys do not know that already. Um, I'm actually doing two co-streams with Christopher Trinde there. Wednesdays uh, at noon, we play Man of Medan. Um, and uh, Fridays, I do a solo playthrough of Detroit Become Human. Um, and uh, on Sundays, we do Resident Evil 6, which might be replaced soon by something else. But uh, we got a little bit more of Resident Evil 6 on Sundays at noon as well. Um, beyond that, you can also yeah, subscribe to me on Patreon. Um, I do, uh, you get early access to the Tunes Day videos, um, as well as voting rights and uh, cover requests at certain tiers. Um, I think that's everything for me. So, yeah, just uh, follow, follow me all the places. I was going to answer a quick question uh, that's coming up. How do we submit fan art? There's nowhere to submit it. Um, just tag it Detroit Evolution on Instagram or uh, Twitter. And I have basically just been keeping an eye on it for the last three weeks. And so we'll just be yeah, doing stuff here. that we, we've seen in the tags. Um, yeah. What about you, Michael? What do you have coming up and promoting and where can we find you? Oh, obviously, you can find me on Instagram at Michael Smallwood Forever. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Mike Loves Gushers. Um, uh, you can, uh, if you are a fan of the television show community, you can listen to my podcast, Welcome to Greendale, which just finished its first season. Um, and I think for now, that's it. Oh, and I'm going to start just posting movie reviews for movies oh yeah i saw that that's exciting so send me suggestions and i um i'm gonna like put together i'm gonna choose a few today uh and watch them over the course of the week and start dropping some movie reviews because i miss criticism mm -hmm. i miss criticism i love that <laughs> all right carlo where can we find you uh the only form of social media that i that i have is on instagram carla k kim if you have any questions or if you guys have anything that you want to say to me, you can just DM me. I check my DMs nowadays uh, because ever since this happened, I just needed to like open it up to all the fans and I try to, you know, read everybody's messages. So that's where you can find me. All right. Yay. What up, Chris? Hey, um, yeah, uh, you can find me on uh, uh, Instagram. You can find me on Twitter. You can find me on YouTube. Uh, my band also has an Instagram. I am now, I was inspired by Maximilian and Michelle to start streaming on Twitch. And I also do uh, two co-streams of Maximilian a week. And then on Thursdays, I stream Uncharted 4. And so, uh, yeah, lots of things. You can find me on the internet and I'll see you there. Okay, great. So thank you very much. Are you okay? No. <laughs> No, never. he's not. He's never, never been. Never that will. Might have been a stroke. <laughs> a very Italian stroke. I'm sorry, man. I'm half Italian. Oh, oh what about you, JJ? Oh, okay. Um, well, mainly my two, four, three forms of social media. I am on TikTok at JJ Goler. Thanks. Um, Twitter at JJ the Loser King <laughs> and Instagram at Chris Cross. Please send me more fan art. I freaking love that stuff. Um, and actually, I will later this week probably be posting a Lotso cosplay tutorial. Um, I ordered Ooh. glasses. Um, I ordered glasses and the boa, but they're stuck. Um, the boa and the arm that I order also are stuck in China right now. <laughs> the so I got the glasses. And the arm too. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. I, I bought an arm for nine dollars. I was just like, oh shit. You can, you can just get buy anything arms? for cosplay. Yeah, it was yeah. like it's like one of those um, ring. Um, I took my nails off; they were bothering me. Sorry, um, but it's like one of those ring mannequins um, that I'm just gonna spray paint white. But I'll be posting lots of cosplay tutorial on my TikTok and Instagram sometime this um, week. So anybody who wants to cosplay Lotso and join the arm cult, yeah, arm cult out. That's our JJ, JJ, are you naturally this pale, or did you do makeup? It's the lighting. Okay, I was. <laughs> yeah. I, I was like, I mean, I mean, I'm right there with you, but I was just curious. I don't know. It depends. I really you kind of, you kind of look like Android uh, Kamsky. I want to be able to return to conventions because I love this Marcus cosplay and I really want to make revolutionary Thank jacket. You. Marcus. I was about to say, small Katsukon 2021. We got to do that. <laughs> we got to have a whole. And also, your Jesse Williams voice is like impeccable. So yeah, it's on point. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. The, um, the only other thing I want to mention this week um, is that what I'm going to try very hard to do is finally get 
your soundtrack and score uh, all divvied up and put on Spotify and SoundCloud and, and iTunes and all of that. So Yay. Uh, you can find you at... I am at Austin Bites on pretty much everything. Yep, that's basically it. <laughs> so you can follow Austin. It's bites as, with a Y T T S. And it's causing lots of confusion. Yes. Yes. We like confusion. I do know that Spotify doesn't play in Russia, so do have a back. Chicken and man bun placement. Yeah, we'll have SoundCloud, we'll have um, iTunes, everything okay. like that. A lot of people have been asking about it. It has been on my list of things to do, but it's actually a lot of work to try to itemize track listings and upload such to soundcloud and stuff it is not something that you can just do <laughs> there's a lot of work yeah about. so uh yeah that's about all we've got for you guys today thank you for joining everybody who subscribed everybody who watched all of our lovely mods in the chat who helped keep everything going great at 500 plus viewers and still no slow mode shout Love out mods. to them <laughs> Wonderful, Your mods wonderful. are amazing. They are, they are, and especially um, <laughs> thank you, JJ, for participating here and abdicating your mod responsibilities for a day to come hang out with us as well. We will see you. Yeah, uh, baby, I'm good. <laughs> we You're all free now. Go to Jericho. <laughs> you are oh, all free. Go to Jericho. <laughs> Ryan you. Deckard's probably streaming in like five minutes, so go, 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 have fun with him. <laughs> all right, everybody. Bye. Yes. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye.